Remake, it's that time of year again. It's 2023. Well, it's not, it's 2022. But all of us, we're going to 2023 stuff, uh, which means embargoes beginning to lift. We can talk about some stuff. Can't show the new products yet because they haven't actually landed in subs boxes. But marketing assets are out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you go, though, that means that I can show you the new product logos, desktop icons, and splash screens for the new products, which normally it would be dull as dishwater. But they've, they've basically changed everything. Like all the product backgrounds and splash screens and desktop icons have changed across all the products. So I thought I'll just give you a heads up on what they're going to look like. You might find it interesting. If you're still thinking, I, just, I don't care, that's fine. I, that's okay. All right, I find this interesting. If you don't, that's okay. So this is all part of Autodesk's complete customer-facing overhaul branding refresh that they're going through. We started with the amputated leg logo, and, and it's now going across all their products. Let's take a look. So this is what the desktop icons used to look like on the left-hand side. You can see they've got the Fs and the Is and the Vs. They're still using letters and boxes, but they, those ones have been around for like eight years or something, man, and I was getting sick of them. They're not, they're, they've aged quite well, but they're looking a bit old now. It's like about time, right? So this is what they used to look like. There's 3ds Max. And I must admit, I I love these. There was Fusion 360 with that mechanical winged pedal thing, which was iconic for Fusion 360, the desktop icon for Fusion 360, etc. Inventor, right? The eye. Iconic for Inventor, again, that eye, as well as that padded sort of space station bulb thing with the rope going through it. All of that's gone completely gone in favor of a very bland looking but you'll probably get used to it that so this is now the consistent theme across all the products at the top you've got the new desktop icon which is a colored box consistent across all the products with the letter or number for the product in the box the product logo it's the same font family but they've just overhauled it a little bit modernized it and then the product image is like it's a sculpture, which is glass, but I think they've changed it to metal for the product logo, zoomed in on it, and then shone some light on it, and they've changed the light to reflect like the product color. They've also changed the product color association for a lot of the products, which is probably gonna upset some people, right? Like Max is now green, air uh, blue, where it used to be green. But did it used to be green? Oh, no, it was more of a turquoisey color. Turquoisey green, but it's now very blue. Uh, but like Maya has changed as well, uh, and some of the products have changed colors. So yeah, that's now the new theme running across all the products. There's Alias Auto Studio, a very orange, A in a box, Alias Auto Studio, zoomed in on this metal sculpture with light shone across it. And I, I, I actually like it, I do. It looks clean, it looks professional. I just miss those, I miss those abstract art sculptures. They were, they were really nice. There was just something about them, but you know, after a while you've got to move on. AutoCAD, the big one. So the background image is a bit boring for Thor as biggest product. Right? I think they could have made something a bit more, I don't know, stand out -y for AutoCAD. But the color of AutoCAD as well seems to have changed. It's not as deep red as it used to be. I don't know if it's just my screen, but it looks more a pinky kind of red than it used to be. And for LT, you'll see like LT underneath the desktop icon. And I think for main AutoCAD, I think they've got like CAD underneath the icon. But generally, that's what your icon look like. And Civil 3D, going with the purple theme for a lot of the civil products, with an unfortunate shaft <laughs> looking <laughs> sculpture at the bottom. Very phallic. That's, uh, I don't know if I thought that through, but that looks very phallic. Uh, I do like the light show at the bottom, though. That looks really nice. It's not as pronounced than sort of the light show on some of the images as it is on others, but that's Civil 3D. Now for the collections. The collections, curiously, they've gone with a the light theme, and point products have gone with a the dark theme. But this is the sculpture that they're zooming into, and they've made it glass for the collections, whereas it's sort of a metal, the the, the products. But yeah, that's what it's. I think that's what they're zooming in onto. So the the icon for the collections is the amputated leg in a box, blue for the AEC collection, light turquoisey blue for M&E, orange leg in a box for PDMC, and Fusion 360. Man, oh, it's devastating, man. No more pet, no more mechanical pedal. That's what you're getting. Deep orange F Fusion 360 with the sculpture metal thingy with an orangey, yellowy sort of refracted light down there. Infraworks, purple with, you know, very, very samey all the way through. Consistent theme. Do I just, I do, I like the font. It looks really clean. 
and then Inventor. Glad to see, really glad to see, they've made a huge color differentiation now between Fusion and Inventor. That's far more yellowy than that is orangey. So when they're on your desktop, you're going to be able to see the difference hugely. But you can, the, the shape though, it looks like one of those clackers, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, those annoying people in front of you at a football stadium wave around their head. But yeah, that's Inventor. Weird shape with the orange, yellowy glow in the middle of it. Maya, no longer green. It's not, I think Maya was, Maya was green, wasn't it? I'm, I don't know, I'm just visioning it green. But now it's blue all the way through. And then there's the shape. Mudbox, <laughs> curious Mudbox. It's got the exact same background image as AutoCAD. It's just green. <laughs> Maybe they got the Mudbox and they're like, yeah, we can't be bothered to make any more images. <laughs> Let's just start copy pasting what we've already done. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> got an entire shape to zoom into. There's Mudbox, Revit. So Revit, you've got your blue R and the product logo. That's what you're going to see when you launch up Revit. Uh, Vault Professional, very similar color scheme to Inventor. Yeah, I think it is very similar color scheme to Inventor, which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, yellow light bar running along the bottom of the metal sculpture. I mean, it's again, inoffensive, doesn't really mean anything, doesn't, no association to the product, it's just a random image. And then, Autodesk's best product ever by an absolute mile with the worst image ever is V-Red. So there's V-Red. Whoever did this needs an absolute slap. V-Red is one of the best rendering packages on the planet and the, the product imagery is just like 90% black space in the middle of it. Who, who did this? Who did this? Why is there a massive black space in the middle of the product imagery for one of the best rendering packages in the world. Honestly. <laughs> what is this shite? <laughs> anyway, there's your, there's your product badges, your icons, your logos for your new 2023 Autodesk products. All the way through. Oh, the main ones anyway. I mean, there's obviously there's hundreds of Autodesk products, but those are the main ones. And tip of the cap to the old ones. Sad to see them go, but time moves on. I have no doubt they've, they they did physically manufacture that and have had it at a number of events that'll probably be sent over to Autodesk's museums and galleries. But there you go. That's the new 2023 branding, product logos and imagery. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to show those. The embargo was today. Uh, else I'll be in a stickier situation since Sticky the Stick Insect was stuck on a sticky bun in a bit of trouble with Autodesk. But never mind. What can you do? Anyway, thanks very much. That's all I've got for this one. Uh... Keep checking your subs boxes for the new 2023 stuff coming out soon, imminently. I'm not going to be doing a what's new scripted video. I'm probably going to be doing a live stream of just showing the new stuff getting installed and me just fumbling my way through it because I haven't really looked at it that much yet. Uh, and that's if my voice holds up because like my throat's really hurting. I don't know what's wrong with me. But um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. My name is Neil Cross. This has been Tech3D and Bridget on the windowsill. A cat. Just watching the builders outside. All right, thanks very much. I'll see you in the next one. Doodles.